Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to bulk create card designs in Canva with VDP, variable data printing. So VDP allows you to create multiple cards with different information on it for your company in a single print run. So you can um, print membership, business, ID, loyalty, access cards, or event. The list goes on and on, which you can use variable data for. So before you start your design, uh, please make sure that you open a free account in Canva. Once registered, you can proceed to design your card and seamlessly link your data to create it to the created cards. So what I want you to do is um, on the right hand side, click create a design, select custom size and make sure that the size is 86 by 54. For a landscape design, it will be opposite obviously for portrait design. So first of all, yeah, so I want you to create this design and it will go straight to something like this. Here you could choose um, a different template that you'd like. And yeah, you can decide what your cards look like. This is the idea that I have for my cards, okay. And I've included these variables. So I've included the name, position, email address and location, okay. So now I have to set up the sheet that matches the template I created in Canva. Then I will link the sheet to the template I created on Canva. So here's my sheet. Okay, I just created it in Google Sheets. Um, yeah, so I, in the sheet I've included randomly um, generated eight names, different eight different positions, email addresses and locations. Okay, and then lastly, I will generate eight images that I will use and upload them to Canva on the template. Okay, and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so the next step is to load the data from the sheet um, onto the template on Canva. Okay, so what I want you to do is go scroll down on the left side into apps, then select bulk create. I want you to select data manually and not upload as CSV, okay, but there, these are the options that you have. Okay, so it gives you a random generated text. I want you to zoom out, say clear table, okay, and I want you to copy all of your data from the generated table that you've created into your table so say control V okay then what I want you to do is I want you to um, yeah so copy and paste the data from your sheet and then go back into Canva and basically I want you to just add an image row okay so in Canva you can you know find your your pictures where you've saved them in your folders. I've just saved them onto the browser, so I'm gonna go through them. Um, this might take quite long, so I'm just gonna go through it quickly. Okay, so once you're done with this, yeah, and you've repeated all the steps of adding all the images, I know this is quite time consuming, but once you've done all these steps, you can now select done. Okay, so you will come to a position like this, uh, where on the left, you can see the header names that are displayed as data fields. Okay, the data fields must link to the corresponding elements on your template. Okay. So right click on your mouse on the data elements and select connect data. Okay, you will select image for the image. Then you'll do the same for the rest. Okay, you'll right click on it, connect data and select the correct document. Just make sure that you resize it um, in proportion to the names. Okay, because sometimes you can make it a bit too large and the name doesn't fit. So just make sure that you do that for all of them.
Okay, so I've done it for all the different variants that I have, okay? So using these header names, I've made it very easy to understand the template, okay? So we've just got a basic understanding here, but it makes it quite nice to visualize it, okay? So as you can see now, the basic information is all there. Okay, so what you can do now, as you can see, it's all ticked. You can say continue. I'll just move this up so you can see. So here you can generate all your pages. You can select certain pages not to generate. Okay, but I'm going to generate all the eight designs. Okay, so now Canva will generate all the pages for you. And you can see all the generated pages with your template design. Okay. Okay, great. So as I go through them, you can see that um, everyone has been added. So there might be some glitches where the positions are a bit longer or the names are a bit longer, but you can easily adjust those. Okay. So yeah. And after it's done, you can make some design changes. Like I said, if you'd like to make it more personal, but this speeds up the process of manually generating cards every time. Okay, so the last step, once you're happy with the design, is to share it. Okay, so I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna zoom back. Just to reset, okay. So the last step is to share, download as a PDF print, and select CMYK. Okay, so select CMYK so that the colors best match the ones on your PC when printed. Okay, and then you'll select download and print directly to your card printer. So, uh, and the last thing is make sure you choose the landscape position when printing. So that's it, yeah. So this is how you can create a variable data on Canva. I hope that's all. Thanks for watching.